This is a CBS4 Tropical Storm Dorian update. Hi there, South Florida. So the 11 a.m. advisory is out on Tropical Storm Dorian. It's still a tropical storm with maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour. So that hasn't changed and it is running into some dry air, keeping it at that steady status. And it continues to track towards the west northwest at 13 miles per hour, still impacting parts of the Windward Islands and the southern Leeward Islands. And then as we head into tomorrow, makes a turn towards the northwest over the eastern Caribbean Sea and makes Makes its approach towards uh, portions of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. These areas under the shaded yellows are the areas that we have to keep a watch, not just the center line here of this forecast track. So by Thursday morning, it looks like the center of Tropical Storm Dorian could be anywhere north of Eastern Dominican Republic. Heavy rains are expected and impacts could start as early as Wednesday, uh, possibly Wednesday afternoon. Then Dorian makes its way into the Bahamas uh, by Saturday into the central Bahamas. And then that's when it starts to make more of a west northwest turn towards the sunshine state. And again, you don't want to just look at the center of this cone. You want to consider everything that's under the cone. But it looks like the Treasure Coast is going to have to keep a close watch, including us here in South Florida through the Middle Keys, the Seven Mile Bridge. Now this will be by Sunday morning, making landfall somewhere along the east coast of Florida. So keep it tuned to CBS 4 because we are still uncertain of the impacts, the exact impacts that we will get here in South Florida. But of course, we will keep you posted on that.